Nini everyone, Zabora here. So today we are going to be talking about Psalm 22 and Matthew 27.35. Now supposedly uh, this is Matthew 27.35 offers more proof as Jesus being the Messiah and that there is a prophecy in Psalms 22 even though they don't say it where it is because they don't want you to actually read Psalm 22. Uh, or to know where it's found, because every Jew know that knows that the Psalms are not prophecy. So, <laughs> anyway, uh, Matthew twenty seven thirty five says, And they crucified him, and they parted his garments, casting lots, that it might be fulfilled which is spoken by the prophet. They parted my garments among them, and upon my vesture did they cast lots. And sitting down, they watched him there. Okay, so... Um, Here's the problem what I have with 2735. In Psalms, you have such a better quote uh, when it talks about dogs being at uh, surrounding King David because Psalm 22 is about King David. And they, they pierced his hands and feet. And you can see it right here. They pierced his hands and feet. And, uh, but instead they went with, they parted my garments among them and cast lots upon my vesture. I mean, like, that's kind of a weak argument. And that's only because that's a mistranslation. Uh, the actual translation is not pierced my hands and feet, but it's, um, they surround me and snap their jaws like a lion or they roar like lions. So, um, the story of David is kind of a rough one. See, David's king, okay, and he's the one that's married to Queen Esther, and in order to, you know, get Queen Esther, he conquered her entire family <clears throat> and her kingdom, but, you know, that's not rape or wrong or anything like that. So, anyway, uh, King David, he's got this, uh, a couple of kids, and these kids are kind of unruly, all right? So, he's got this one son who tricks his sister into uh, coming to care for him. Like he's got a bad tummy and his sister made him chicken noodle soup to come and make him feel better and care for him. Because that's what a good sister would do when her brother asks for it. Because women are basically slaves. So she comes to, to help him feel better and instead he rips off her clothing and he rapes her and he defiles her. And instead of marrying her as she pleaded with him she said you know please father will not deny you me he will not tell you no if you asked for me basically uh you can't turn me away because what you're doing now is very bad so it's not bad that he raped her it's bad that he's throwing her out of her out of his house that she's no good to him she's just basically a common prostitute so she fly, uh, she flees into uh, her other brother and he gets angry and he starts a rebellion and kills his brother for raping their sister. Uh, and King David flies into exile. He's just like, I'm out. I'm scared. These bitches are, are, are like terrifying me. And so we're not sure when this psalm, uh, Psalm 22, was written, but we're pretty sure, at least I'm pretty sure, it was written during his exile uh, when he was, in fact, surrounded by many enemies <laughs> who happened to be his own children. Be uh, I mean, like, you know, this is God's just chosen king for his people and his children are going around raping each other, literally each other. So, um, you know, that's just a little perspective there. <laughs> Good morals, you know. So, uh, yeah, every, every Jewish person knows that Psalms are not about, pro are not prophecies, okay? Um, that's why this is just such a weak argument. They don't even bother to cite where it's found in the Old Testament because it's just a little, like, plea for inserting Jesus into the Psalms. And, um... Psalms are not messianic prophecy. I mean, they parted his... They, they cast lots for his clothes. How many criminals had had their stuff stolen or auctioned off as they were dying? I'm sure lots of people did, you know? I mean, you're dead. You're not going to need them. 
So I don't see this as messianic texts, or and neither did the Jews, which is why the Jews rejected all this bullshit. So yeah, there you go. Another Bible verse debunked. Uh, we're getting close to the end here, and maybe we'll do a quick overview or something like that. Just an overview of what like the actual messianic texts were, and why Jesus doesn't fulfill them, versus this uh, one-at-a-time thing. So yeah, that is it for tonight, guys. Sun up to you.